Hi, I'm Matthew Kelly. Welcome back to Radical and Relevant. Everybody needs to forgive somebody. Who do you need to forgive? That's the question I want you to keep in mind as we take a look at the gospel today, which is from Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 through 35. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 70 times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And as he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that they had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of the pity the Lord had for his servant, he released him and forgave him his debt. But the same servant, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, pay me what you owe me. So his fellow servant fell down and besought him, have patience with me and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison till he should pay his debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed. And when they reported it to their Lord, all that had taken place, he summoned the servant and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave you all your debt because you besought me and should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you. And in anger, his Lord delivered him to the jailers till he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. So it's a, it's a lesson in forgiveness and, and we, we've got this fabulous parable, but what jumps out at me today is, is Peter's question. Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him as many as seven times? And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 70 times seven. And it's, it's fascinating this. And it, it, the, 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 the issue of forgiveness is, is both fascinating and complex and tragic and, and, and many, many things. Um, to forgive somebody seven times, Peter says, and then Jesus says 70 times seven, what does that mean? What I find interesting is it, it, it usually isn't enough for me to forgive somebody one time, you know? The end of the parable says, forgive them in your heart. Okay, forgive them in your heart. He's not saying go and forgive them, meet with them 70 times seven and forgive them in person. He's saying forgive them in your heart. What I find is that you know, sometimes I'll forgive somebody and then time will pass and I'll realize, hmm, I still got a lot of anger towards that person. I, I've still got a lot of resentment towards that person. In my heart, I, I need to forgive that person again. And, and sometimes seven times isn't enough. Sometimes it does take 70 times seven for, for me to forgive that person in their heart because over time, new resentment grows up, or I think I forgave him, but in my heart, I'm still harboring so much, and, and I need to forgive him again. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Remember, don't just be yourself. Be the very best version of yourself, all that God created you to be.